Welcome back to the Daily Bible Chapter. It is Monday, December the 12th, 2022. And today we're reading Job, Chapter 2. And before we get started, we'll say a little prayer. Father God, we uh, we love you and we thank you for uh, just giving us the opportunity, Lord, to spend time in your word. And God, I just pray that you would speak to us, Lord. And God, let us focus on what it is your word says so that we may gain insight and wisdom from it. Father God, we love you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. And if you're new here, we are reading through the Bible, Genesis to Revelation, one chapter every day. And we are currently in Job, just a little over a year into it. And the whole time will probably take just a little over three years. So anyway, let's get into Job chapter 2. Again, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. And the Lord said to Satan, From where do you come? Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro on the earth, and from walking back and forth on it. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man, one who fears God and shuns evil? And still he holds fast to his integrity, although you incited me against him to destroy him without cause? So Satan answered the Lord and said, Skin for skin, yes, all that a man has he will give for his life. But stretch out your hand now and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will surely curse you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, he is in your hand, but spare his life. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord and struck Job with painful boils from the sole of his foot to the crown of his head, and he took for himself a potsherd with which to scrape himself while he sat in the midst of the ashes. Then his wife said to him, Do you still hold fast to your integrity? Curse God and die. But he said to her, You speak as one of the foolish women speaks. Shall we indeed accept good from God, and shall we not accept adversity? In all this Job did not sin with his lips. Now when Job's three friends heard of all this adversity that had come upon him, each one came from his own place, Eliaphaz the Temanite, Bildad the Shuhite, and Zophar the Namathite, for they had made an appointment together to come and mourn with him, and to comfort him. And when they raised their eyes from afar, and did not recognize him, they lifted their voices and wept, and each one tore his robe, and sprinkled dust on his head toward heaven. So they sat down with him on the ground, seven days and seven nights, and no one spoke a word to him, for they saw that his grief was very great. Job chapter 2 And I don't know about you, but I cannot imagine painful boils from your head to your feet. I mean, I'm a little bit of a baby when I don't feel good. And I can only imagine how painful that must have been. And uh, and I'm just sitting here thinking, like, I think God knew how painful that would be for for Job. um, But still allowed Satan to, to take that action because he knew how steadfast job was um and again kind of like yesterday i you know i wish that i had that same steadfastness for christ and for um for god and and that i could tolerate all of that and still not sin um well it's the scripture here says he did not sin with his lips um but i i mean i just i can't imagine how painful that would be. I also found it interesting that when his three friends came, they got together and decided to come at the same time. And it says that no one spoke a word to him for they saw his grief was very great. You know, I mean, Job's lost his family. His wife is telling him to curse God and die. And he has painful sores all over himself. And we're only in the second chapter of his story. Um, But in all of that, you know, God the way it reads to me, God said, you know what? You want to test somebody here? Test my man, Job. Like I, he'll withstand it. And 
And, you know, then Satan came back and, and God said again, Hey, have you considered my man, Job? And, uh, you know, like, I think God knew that Job could stand firm. And I, you know, it's, it's my hope and prayer that, um, if you are a believer that you would have that, that strength of Job to, to stand firm and to, to live your life for Christ and, and take the good with the bad and understand that, you know, I, I've said this to other people that if we had no bad times, we wouldn't understand how good the good times were, you know, because if we only had good times, then we would, we would just have expectation of constant good. But because we, we go through those troughs of life and we, you know, struggle at times, it helps us to understand how good the good is. Um, and it also helps us to, to rely on God and trust in God. So anyway, those are my thoughts for today. I uh, just want to say thanks for joining us, and I hope you will join us again tomorrow for Job chapter 3. Have a great day.